What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, Everett and I are actually going to a black tie event wedding. I actually didn't realize that it was... You okay? Okay. You good? Are you good? I have never gone to a wedding that was black tie and so I was so excited. I actually didn't realize that it was going to be like fancy like that until we read the invitation more thoroughly. I had thrifted a different dress that was really cute but very casual kind of like floral print very like day dress kind of looking and I thought it would be beautiful for a spring wedding but reading the invitation I realized quickly that I did not have the right attire so we are going to go shopping for that and Everett is going to go shopping because his sports coats are all hand-me-downs and it's just time for him to get something that fits him really well and is fitted so I think we're going to go to men's warehouse and go shopping and also maybe Nordstrom Rack because we heard that Nordstrom Rack has really great nice fitted like suit sets kind of thing and then I am going to try to thrift a more fancy dress. I'm so confused, you guys, on what black tie is because I know traditionally it's not cool to wear black or white to weddings usually. And you don't want to like outstage the bride. But I guess at black tie weddings, you can wear black. And also you want to wear something like elegant. So they said like cocktail dresses that are a little bit longer and also like full on gowns. Sorry about Ziggy getting old you guys in my mind what I'm thinking is I want something that's kind of like a satiny silk material but that's kind of a little bit more simplistic and plain but kind of form-fitting and then ever also needs a pair of shoes he just kind of needs like the whole outfit so that's what we're gonna be shopping for today which is perfect timing because movement ended up reaching out and wanting to collaborate on this video and I said yes absolutely Everett loves the brand movement for watches and we have done a collab in the past and he wears that watch all the time. So I figured getting a new watch would be perfect for his outfit. If you guys have never heard of Movement, they are a watch company that also actually sells sunglasses now. But they sell high quality watches for really fair prices. And I would say most of their designs are pretty minimal or like sleek and classic looking. I absolutely love the style of their watches and I feel like they have so many different ones to choose from. If you guys are interested, I will put my link in the description box down below and I'm pretty sure it gives you 15% off with my code and I feel like watches are such a great gift to give to guys in your life for Father's Day birthdays I always feel like the guys in my life are really hard to shop for so a watch is just such a like classic gift here's the watch that Everett picked out right here I absolutely love the design because I feel like you could really dress up or down this watch it has the big white face with kind of like the silver detailing on the side and then the band is like a light tan color Everett's gonna try it on. This is called the Chrono, and while I'm currently on the website, it's on sale for $110, but it's normally $138. So really well priced, and I just think it's such a, like a nice classic look. He could wear this on an everyday basis or on like more of a like dressed up event. So I think it's perfect and hopefully we'll get some shoes that maybe match or just go with the outfit. So many beautiful things on their website. The only reason I didn't end up picking out a watch this time too is because honestly I don't wear watches all that often and Everett absolutely loves watches. It's one of his like guilty pleasures in life is like bougie body wash, bougie loofahs, and watches. <laughs> So I figured it'd be better for him and I think they just have like such nice men's watches Check it out for you yourself Mother's Day a gift for someone else or yeah for the guy in your life Maybe for Father's Day. All right, you guys let's head off to Nordstrom's rack men's warehouse Maybe even Goodwill to go look for a dress for me and hopefully we'll get some good outfits for our black tie event Okay, let's go friends. Hello. I had every intention today to film while we were shopping for Everett for his outfit but we had a super busy day. If you guys can't tell, I'm very um, swollen right now because I actually ended up getting lip injections today and you get really swollen afterwards for like a few days. So in the next like three days or so, I will be pretty swollen. So I look kind of crazy like right here. I did end up doing a full TikTok of like the experience and I'm going to do it throughout my like healing process kind of crazy busy day. Then we headed over to Nordstrom Rack. He ended up finding some good stuff. A really nice blue Tommy Hilfiger suit. The bottoms were way too loose on him. 
so he's getting them tailored. So we're gonna go pick those up in a week from now. But actually, funny enough, we actually have another wedding that we're going to this weekend. Not black tie, much more casual. And so he's gonna wear this suit top and the whole outfit. He also got shoes. I wanted to show you guys the outfit because he has it all together and see what you think. And then tomorrow we're gonna go thrift shopping and I'm hopefully going to find the fancy black tie event dress. Also, please no mean comments about lip injections because I don't want to hear it. My body, my choice. Thank you. All right, guys, here he is. <laughs> okay, very cute. Love his shoes, love his jacket. Like it with the jeans because it gives the casual look for this wedding. That actually looks so good with the shoes because the band is the tan color and then your shoes are the tan color. A great tie-in. I love the shoes, what brand are they? I have no idea. I'm at Goodwill. Hopefully we're gonna find our perfect black tie dress. They have a lot of dresses in this location, so let's do this. All right guys, I'm heading over to the dresses, right over here, but first are the bags, and I figured I'd take a quick peek and see if there's anything cute. I mean, I have stuff at home that I could definitely use, some of those like little small beaded bags. Um, but if there's anything fun and formal, we'll take we'll take a look. I don't really know what color will match yet, so maybe I should look at these after. Let's get into the dresses. This is kind of pretty. It's like a black and white sequin. I don't know if it's supposed to be animal print or like what. It's expensive though, it's $30. Oh, it's because it's new with tags. What brand is it? It's new with tags, guess. I think it's really pretty. Maybe I'll try it on, but I don't know. I would wanted something a little more affordable than $30, but I think it's pretty. Is this too glitzy for a black tie wedding? I just, I've never been to one, so I'm just confused on what I'm supposed to wear. This blue Windsor dress might be pretty. I feel like it's kind of like the vibes I was thinking of. Long, but not like overly fancy. And the blue would match Everett, so this is a maybe. I'll send a picture to him. All right, now that I went through all the dresses, I have a few, hopefully they look good. Now I'm just gonna look through the rest of the store since I'm here, you guys know. I'm okay. gonna peruse. <laughs> but I saw this. And I was like, ooh, zebra print, sheer, I love that. But then I saw this front part and I don't really love that. And I thought it was like a full on thing and it's just a shirt. I was hoping to wear it over a bikini, which I think would be cute, but I just wish it was a little bit longer, I think. I was digging through this little like purse section up here, which I feel like no one ever looks through. And I found this fun little like sequiny beaded bag. You guys know I'm a sucker for beads and sequins on little mini purses. <laughs> and also I found a fake Louis. Nice. I mean, it's obviously fake, but I like putting like cosmetics and stuff in here or like my hair extensions or something. <laughs> as far as my non-dress items, I have this little Forever 21 crop tank and this little uh, Fab Fabletics zip up. I'm gonna try those on first. Here's the little crop top. It's only $3, so I'm thinking about maybe getting it. I don't know. It's a maybe. Here's a little zip-up sweater. I think it's really cute. It's kind of like form-fitting, but I feel like I don't need it, so I'm gonna leave it behind, even though I love the style with all the little like cutout details on the arms and like the chest area. It has no pockets either, so it's gonna be a no. Next up is this little turquoise Tonello shirt. Fabric is really soft. I love the fabric on this and like the design and the color, but I don't love this part. I feel like this part makes it look outdated or just like mature, you know? I wish it was just like a normal button down and then I'd be into it, but since it has this like detail, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. I found three different sweater vests. This one's just a little brown and pink argyle one. I like that it's a nice length and I like the print. I'm being picky, you guys. I don't like this. 
I don't like how it does that. So this is a no, even though I think it's really cute and I hope someone else finds it because this with like a little white tennis skirt, that's so cute. This is a little hand uh, crochet sweater vest. I like that it's um, handmade, but it's a little small on the underarm. I think it might be for a child. So I don't know, I feel like I could rock it. Like it is kind of cute. I just wish that the v-neck was a little bit further down. Eh, I'm torn. I think that I could rock it and it's only $2.99. I'm not sure. Even with this outfit though, with my like little white sandals and like a red bag, that'd be cute. It's a maybe. I actually think I might like it. This is a vintage sweater vest, but it is itchy. It's so itchy. I love the color, but I hate the itchiness. So this is a no. And then the skirt is like this beautiful pink Indian wrap skirt. Could be cute for a bikini, but I don't love the length on my shin right there. I either like them longer or shorter. So I don't know. I think it's beautiful. I wonder if my mom would like it. It has like multiple layers, it's very pretty. All right guys, I just checked out, got all my stuff. I got this for Everett. Two dress options. I think that they're both gonna be really uh, cute or like appropriate for the situation and they were both really affordable. So I'll show you those when I get home. But right now I am starving, I need a drink. I'm running on fumes, so I'll see you guys for the try on. What's up guys? We are back home from the thrift store and I figured I'd just show you guys the haul of everything I got. I try to be really selective, but I feel like I got some good things. First up, I did end up getting the fake little Louis Vuitton little bag. It's very clearly fake. It's not very well made, but I think that this kind of size of bags like this are great to put little like toiletries in when I'm traveling or just even to keep in the car with like some stuff, you know, some little toiletries. So yeah, I thought it was great and it was only $5, uh, $6. I did end up also getting the little black Forever 21 like crop top tank top shirt like this. I just thought it was cute, fit really nice and it was really affordable. Ties in the back for a little extra detail. And this one was $2.99. And that's all the clothes that I ended up getting. I tried on a lot of stuff that day, but I feel like nothing was like, I don't know. I wasn't like obsessed with anything and I'm trying to buy less. I did end up finding two cute little housewares. I really liked this mug. I liked how big it was. I like to eat like ice cream and soup and like cereal sometimes out of bigger mugs. Plus I drink a lot of coffee and I thought that this one was just really pretty. I wish I had two of them, but I only found the one. Kind of like a retro style. With this really pretty little like floral thing going on. And then I also found this pretty little vase. You guys know I love pottery. So I'm always drawn to things that are like natural clay or like glazed clay. And I thought this one was really fun because it has the nice natural clay, but with like these spots of blue. They're almost like little flowers all over them. Oh, hi Pickles. Yeah, do you like that? It's my mother-in-law's puppy. She is very curious about everything. I got this and it was $2.50 and it has uh, the person that made it, Kristen, her signature on the bottom. I did end up finding a little jewelry piece, kind of like a fun, sparkly, uh, vintage looking costume jewelry, little sparkly necklace right here. Super cute, just has like a little bit of like the square emerald cut design. This one was $3.49. And I thought it was cute because it's a little bit shorter too. And then these are the two dresses I found you guys. I was actually like getting really nervous there because I wasn't finding any good dresses at first. Thank goodness I didn't have to go thrifting multiple days. I'm really torn between which one to wear. So this first one is black with kind of like a, almost like a scarf print. It's so pretty. It's really hard to like see the design, but it has a little cutout in the front here. And then the back has a big open circle. And then in the back, it's ruched down the like bottom area. So it like kind of collects and comes together. You'll see when I try it on in a second. And then in the front, it has this really interesting, almost like braided detail. It's like a braid of material on the front and it also is ruched. So I feel like it actually looks really kind of like flattering on the body, the way that it's cut. It's from the brand Caribbean Queen, when I've, which I've seen before at the thrift store and I seem to be drawn to this brand when I find it. And I just think that the cut of this one, like I don't absolutely love the print. I think the print is pretty, but it's more of like the cut of this one that I really like. 
And I think that that one was $7.99 and this one was also $7.99. So for $16, I got two options. <laughs> It is this really beautiful navy blue dress, which I think would match Everett better. And this was more of the style I was thinking, more of like a really like simple kind of like not too much going on. Although this does have pleating and like the gauzy material, but this one will match Everett's suit jacket. This is from Windsor, I think. And it's very long and it has two front leg slits. So let's try both these on and let me know which one you guys think the better choice for the black tie wedding. I love them both. Now I wish I was going to like multiple fancy weddings. All right, you guys, here is the first dress. I just love the cut of this one. I'll come a little closer if you can see, but I just want to show you guys like the overall how it is. The back has the really pretty open back. It has this scrunching right here on the bottom area. The front, the fun little like cutout right here. And then here you guys can see like the braided part. I hope you can tell. Everything about this one, in my opinion, is good. Like I'm happy with this one for sure. The only thing is, is that the other one's blue, so it matches Everett. Not that that really matters. Cause I think that if it wasn't blue, like I love this one. I like this one so much. Or maybe, I don't know, where can I wear this? I mean, maybe I could wear this to a different wedding. It's, I, this, this one makes me feel sexy. Let's try on the blue one. All right, I hope you guys can see. Here's the second one. I love this one too. Like, honestly, I like both of them. Um, I think that this one was more of like the style I was imagining in my mind. And what I really like about this one is that it has the slit on both sides. So like, as you're walking, your leg is like very much a focus but it still has the ruching over the top so it's not like straight up like wha bam leg you know it's like still with the tool over the top i also really like that this one matches everett's outfit and his uh coat suit suit coat and i think that this one is just like very elegant and classy and i don't know i think that i might go with this one just because it's more matchy I don't know, I'm like really, really torn, you guys. This with like a beautiful bag, like, oh man, that beaded bag. I put back that beaded bag, the brown one, and I kind of regret it, it was so pretty. So maybe I'll go and see if it's still there. This one would match your I love that. suit better. I love and that. I love that like with this, I'd have to like boob tape it a bit mm -hmm. and make sure that it stays with like that little fashion tape. That is cute, cute, cute. That's three full cutes for me on this dress. Three out of five or three out of what? Three out of three. Oh, three out of three. <laughs> Cause usually it's cute, cute. So or... you think I should go with this one? Oh yeah. Hey okay, guys, I think I am gonna end up going with this one just because it matches. But tell me if I'm making a mistake and I should go with the first one. I love the first one too. Or tell me down below what I should wear the other one too. Like what kind of event could I go to that I could wear that other dress that's just like elegant and beautiful? All right, you guys, I think that that is it for this video. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me. I'm so glad it was successful. For a second there, I was like, oh my gosh, we're not gonna find anything. Everett's gonna have an outfit and I'm gonna just be having to search for quite a while. But it was successful. And if you guys have a fancy wedding coming up, definitely don't skip over the Goodwill section. There's lots of formal dresses. If you just take some time and dig through there, you could get such a pretty dress for $7. Also, thank you so much, Movement, for sending Everett this really awesome watch. It's such a nice watch. He's already worn it several times he's been like cheating and wearing it ahead of time before the video comes out and he absolutely loves it if you guys need to get a nice gift for maybe like father's day or even for yourself a nice new watch they also carry a ton of sunglasses i will link everything in the description box down below with my coupon code and to their website if you guys haven't heard of movement before i hope that this is your first introduction they're such a great company and i always enjoy working with them so thank you so much movement all right, you guys, I hope you guys are doing great. Comment down below if you have any weddings yourself this year. I wanna know, last year I didn't have any. It's fun to get to go to weddings again. I love going to weddings. <laughs> All right, guys, love you, bye.